Hey gang, I'm on my way back to the airport here in Salt Lake City. Along the highway here, I thought I would take a stop to visit the grave of a beautiful young woman who was actually killed when she was 17 years old. I'm at Midvale Cemetery, Midvale City Cemetery, and her name was Melissa Ann Smith. She was killed by a very infamous, horrible, probably one of the worst serial killers that ever lived. Yes, Ted Bundy. It was Ted Bundy. Now, before I talk about Melissa, and there's not much that I know about her, with respect to Ted Bundy, for those of you that I'm sure you've heard of his name, but this guy was just, I, he thought he was this handsome, charismatic guy. And he would lure girls by either playing the role of an authority figure or fake a disability, like his car was broke down or he was disabled. And he had all sorts of tricks. And he would use that charisma even after he was caught, he was just pathetic with the press. He was gloating. But anyway, what he would do is he would lure the girls to a secluded spot after he had lured them typically to his car from where he would render them unconscious by bludgeoning them or strangling them, but many times not before he raped them. And he was known, well, in his confessions, you know, just before he was electrocuted, I think he confessed to 30-some killings, and Melissa being one of them. But he had said he would go back to the graves time after time. He would groom the bodies, and he would have his way again with the corpse you know what i mean what a sicko he decapitated a lot of the women i think 10 or 12 women and just a bad a bad guy and sadly melissa was going to fall into his crosshairs she did So let's talk about what happened to Melissa on that fateful night. Now, Melissa was the daughter of police chief Lewis Smith, her father, and it is said that he had warned her several times, his 17-year-old daughter, about the dangers of the world. You can only imagine the discussions they had at home at night. But on October 18, 1974, she met with her father at the restaurant that he was at, and she was begging him for a couple of dollars. Hey, Dad, can I have a couple of bucks to get some pizza, the pizza parlor? Our friends are going to be there, and I just need a little bit of money, Dad. So, of course, Dad gave her the money, and she said, could I stay overnight at my girlfriend's? And he said yes. Well, the mistake that Melissa made, you know, in retrospect, who would know that this was the area that Ted Bundy was operating out of? Among other areas, he was here. He went to college here. One of the colleges that he attended was the university here. Well, she would never make it home. Somehow she was by herself, and we can only imagine what happened. But she must have been lured into Bundy's car. She didn't make it home that night, and she was never seen alive again. Nine days later, Melissa's body was found. It was October 27, 1974, in Summit Park. There were deer hunters in there. 
And can you imagine the horror when they came upon her strangled and or bludgeoned body after nine days? It was years later that Bundy confessed to many of his crimes. You can go hear the tapes, the Bundy tapes. And apparently Melissa was, was on there. This is her grave here. And it says, I don't believe in goodbye. Melissa Smith, July 4th. 1957 to October 27th, 1974 is the inscription. A beautiful young woman taken way too early by one of the worst predator monsters that ever lived. Now, Melissa Smith, rest in peace.